this is Raven with Talon Survival. Today we're going to check out how to get your GMRS license using the FCC Universal Licensing System. First off, you're going to need to apply and obtain your FRN number. Once you have your FRN number, you can start using the steps we're going to show in this video. First off, you're going to go to the FCC ULS website at http colon forward slash forward slash wireless dot fcc dot gov forward slash uls forward slash that'll take you to the page you see here once you're there we're going to click by selecting login under online filing that'll bring you to your frn login page here you'll enter your frn number and password. When you come in here, you're going to be defaulted to your My Licenses page. And it's going to show existing licenses that you already have on file with your FRN. So to apply for a new license, we're going to come up here to the top of the sidebar menu and click where it says Apply for a New License. That's going to bring us to a select service menu. So we're going to select in the drop down the GMRS band, which is the ZA code. So again, we're going to select ZA General Mobile Radio GMRS. Then we're going to click continue. On your request type and fee status, I would recommend leaving all three of these as no. However, you need to check your specific application and exemption criterion to see if this if any changes to these apply to you. The predominant standard for most applicants is going to be no for all three of these questions. Next we're going to click continue. The next screen is going to bring us to the licensee name and address input fields. So we're going to go ahead and enter our information here. We're assuming since it's our FRN, we are the licensee. I highly recommend you include an email address in this information. Once you have that entered, go ahead and click continue. That will bring you to the summary page. Your total fee for the application is going to be $70 and that's going to be for a period of five years. Check your information over on this screen and once everything appears to be valid, go ahead and click Continue to Certify. Once you read through the certification statements, go ahead and enter your electronic signature information below under the Signature subfield. we're going to go ahead and leave title blank for this application. And at this point you can see that the application has been successfully submitted. You have a file number here which is your application file number. I highly recommend that you print your application and if you don't want to leave this screen you can do control left click or you can right click and do open in new tab and that will bring up that printable application into a download field as PDF so you can keep it for your archives. 
Next step, we're going to continue for payment options. And once we're here, we're going to log in under the payr FRN login using our FRN number. This is the same number we use to log in during our application process. Now we're going to select a payment method to pay our $70. We're going to go ahead and use a credit card today. Click through that pop-up prompt. We will enter our credit card information here. Once this information is entered, click Continue with Payment. The next step is going to allow you to review your information, make sure everything appears appropriate, and then I highly recommend you enter an email address below to receive a email confirmation receipt. And then you'll confirm that same email. Check the checkbox under Authorization and Disclosure that has the red star next to it and submit payment. I'd highly recommend you only click that once to confirm it doesn't transmit the information more than once and potentially give you multiple transactions or multiple payments that you have to go back and audit or deal with later. Once you're at your confirmation I highly recommend you print a copy and once you have your paper copy printed, go ahead and click Return to your agency website. And here you'll have your tracking ID, your authorization number, your amount paid. Shows your transaction has been approved. From here, you can print your Form 159, which is exactly what we downloaded in the PDF file earlier, or you can click Close. But either way, we're going to end up closing this payment confirmation window. Now, if you noticed, after we closed out of our Form 159 window, we still had our window that said Continue for Payment Options uh, available. So from here, we're going to go ahead and click Return to License Manager My Applications. And here, you'll see under My Applications, you should see your application which you just put in. You can click Submitted to find out the details and the file number. And this is also the same location you can go to at any point from now on within the next 48 hours to 14 days and find out when that information has been approved. Once that information has been approved, you will also be able to find your GMRS call sign in the same location under Applications or under My Licenses. So once you're done with that for now, go ahead and click Log Out. And make sure you are successfully logged out of the system. Well, this concludes our video for how to apply for a GMRS license on the FCC's ULS. It usually only takes a couple of business days to get your license and approval. If you entered an email address in the application process, an approval confirmation and copy of your license will be sent to you via the email provided. While you're waiting to get approved for your license, check out these great GMRS radios we show here. 
On the top you'll see the Motorola MS350R and on the bottom you'll see the Midland Micro Mobile MXT400. We've included Amazon links for them in the video description below. These units are ready to go right off the shelf on all GMRS frequencies including simplex and more importantly repeater channels. This feature is not found on most off-the-shelf radios. Order them now and with Amazon Prime they'll be right at your door about the same time you get your license. You'll be on the air in no time. If this video was useful for you please subscribe to our YouTube channel using the link in the top left of this video. Also check out our website at talentsurvival.com.